Greetings and salutations, fellow Transformers addicts. TFA1024 coming at you with yet another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at another Wave 2 member of the new uh, toy line. It's going to be Transformers Combiner Wars Generations Deluxe Class Dead End. So, as you can see, Dead End is very reminiscent to his Generation 1 inspired uh, iteration. Uh, you can see he's a Ferrari esque vehicle. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I don't really do my research on the vehicle modes and everything, but I could be wrong. Uh, but please, if I, if I am wrong, please do correct me down in the comment section down below. Only once, please. Um, but as you can see, he's very, you know, he's a very, uh, I think he's a Ferrari, but I want to say he is a Ferrari. Um, very nice Ferrari vehicle mode. Uh, very nice burgundy or maroon with a nice gold stripe coming down on one of the sides of the vehicle mode. With the little highlights of silver and gray, as well as the nice uh, painted hubcaps and uh, rims. And that's really impressive that they actually do that. I didn't notice that they do it on the other figures. I don't think they did. I could be wrong again, but I'm not really sure. I just like the way that the wheels look. Um, I like the nice silver headlights picked out and, you know, picked out in a nice metallic silver. And I like how the uh, lower portion of the hood, or the front of the, or the front bumper is painted in a nice gunmetal gray, which is very nice. Now, unfortunately, you can see that I am already, I'm still home. I was unable to make it to Tampa Bay Toy Expo, which is a big bummer. It was their first one, and it was free, and honestly, when I want to go down there next year, I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to pay. I'm going to, I'm going to be able to go again, so that's really unfortunate. And one of the uh, eBay vendors that I bought off of for animated Bumblebee, Bulkhead, and uh, Arachne or Black Arachnia, is down there. Jo uh, Junior's Toys. Go check them out. They're really awesome. They have some really nice price figures, too. Um, but anyway, back to the review. So, uh, yeah, I really like his car mode so far, and I really like the, again, just the paint applications on this guy. A uh, nice Tampograph Decepticon insignia right there, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, I like the car mode. Looks really nice. Now, for comparison, there he is with Off-Road, another newbie. I gotta say, that works. Looks good. I can't really say a car would be that big compared to this truck. Uh, I would have, but then again, I'm not really complaining. Um, so there he is with off-road. And just to tease you guys a little more, here he is with uh, the online exclusive breakneck slash wild rider. And I like how they switched the Decepticon insignias on the side. Like you have his on the right, and you got wild riders on the left, which is really cool. And some two more teases for you guys. Here he is with Voyager Motormaster, and that's a very nice scale right there. I really like it. I think it works, and for some reason mine just wants to get all dusty and dirty and not work well. I don't know what's going on with Motormaster. I may have to look into that. That's just weird to me. Uh, anyway. Oh, that was the problem. That was the problem right there. He one of the pig joint or one of the joints was not pegged in all the way. One of the peg joints. One of the joints was not. No, he still has not the wobble. Whatever. Anyway, there he is with Motormaster. And last but not least, just because I have him with me right now, as well as all my other Combiner Wars figures, here he is with Transformers Combiner Wars Leader Class Ultra Magnus. That's a very nice scale too. Um, so yeah, very neat. Now, of course, he comes with accessories. He comes with a hand foot gun. And he comes with this weird exhaust gun weapon. Like a, uh, if, honestly, if he had, like, a mouth plate and a working mouth with, like, a 5mm porthole, you could literally stick this in his mouth and pretend it's a, it's a cigar. I mean, really. What kind of gun looks like this? It just, it looks silly. Anyway. Uh, the storage, you can see right here. I really don't want to plug it in, but I kind of have to. You can see it's right there. Or you can take it on these two portholes and give him a little bit of an extra car feel to him with, like, a nice exhaust, which is very neat. As for the gun, stores either way. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it putting here or here. I guess you could stick this here. Nope. Well, whatever. Um, but I wouldn't recommend putting this in those two holes or the back. Uh, you can put it on the front and give them like a turret, which is very cool. But yeah, so that's it. That's it for weapons. Over right along. Let's get to transformation. So the first thing you want to do is take these two sections and fold them out. 
take the legs and kind of be careful on uh, on yours anyway because they might just come apart too easily. Uh, I, I recommend holding them to, yeah, see, because they already come apart. I might have to tighten that up with uh, some floor polish if I had any. Uh, come around here up to the front and carefully try and dig your nail into the windshield, uh, windshield section and pull it back much like dead end or dead end breakdown. I'm sorry. Uh, take this whole section, it's on double hinge, so when you have it like that, rotate it forward and press it down against his back like so. It gives it a more cleaner look. Uh, take the arms, rotate them up like so. Take the chest section, but leave it there for now. Come down here, rotate the waist. And keep this this up, because it really doesn't give any extra stability. It, it just makes the figure kind of floppy, because you have a circle bit on a square bit, and it just doesn't really work that well. Uh, take the arms, or the hands. Again, dig your fingernail in there, and... Oh, God, that sound makes me cringe. Uh, I really hate that sound. It's like nails on a chalkboard. And last but not least, rotate your camera up, then fold down the chest, and here you have Dead End in his very iconic robot mode. And I really like the way that this came out, and I'm really pleased with the overall look of this figure. I think it looks really cool, and I'm very glad to have him um, aboard on my collection, because I never owned the Generation 1 Stunticons, and honestly, this is a nice opportunity to have them, because, I mean, again, Combiner Wars gives you that second opportunity to own the, uh, the figures that you never were able to own as a child, or you never grew up with. And I think it's a really nice idea. Um, so, yeah. So, for comparison, here he is with Wave 1 Buddy Drag Strip. And that looks pretty good together. I really like that. That's That looks awesome. Here he is with previously reviewed Blackjack. Again, another Wave 1 Buddy. Oh, That looks cute. <laughs> you have Dead End as like an older brother, and you have Blackjack kind of like the little brother here. Both have a faceplate, both have a visor. It just looks cute to me for some reason. <laughs> and last but not least, here he is with his other Stunticon Wave 2 buddy breakdown. And that hip joint really wants to fight me. Anyway. And just for the heck of it, here he is with also previously reviewed and fellow Wave mates, or in this case, Wave enemy. Here he is with the Aerial Bot Air Raid. And that looks really nice. I think that I think that uh, is a good scale on both ends. So there you go. And just because here he is with uh, transform, uh, here he is with the uh, other Stunticon. So here's Dead End or Breakdown. I keep screwing up the names. I'm sorry. Here he is with Drag Strip. Actually, let's get it like that. There we go. And last but not least, here he is with Little Blackjack. And, unfortunately, he does not hold his weapon all too well, mainly because his hand, his arms are kind of too blocky. Um, and, honestly, I think the joint on mine's a little loose. In fact, mine looks like there's like kind of like a bit of a little divots in there. I don't know why it's not holding, but whatever. It's not a big deal. I don't mind. Uh, he can hold this, but I really don't want to show it off. He, I mean, he can hold it. It just, I use it as a club. I don't use it as a gun. So maybe I might, like, try and cut this part off and make it look more like a gun. Uh, but yeah. So. Uh, and of course, I'm, for articulation, his head is on a swivel. He can look left, he can look right, he can look a little bit down. Uh, his shoulders are on a ball joint. They go 360 degrees. They go in and out. Uh, his arms are on a swivel on a mushroom peg. His forearms, or his, he has elbows at a nice 90 degree angle. Probably a little bit over. Yep. His waist can swivel. Uh, his legs are on a, or his hips are on a ball joint. They go forward, back, in and out. And a nice, little over a 90 degree knee bend, which is nice. And they can swivel on a mushroom peg. So, that's really cool. 
Uh, do I recommend this figure? I honestly sh uh, definitely should recommend this figure, and honestly, I definitely will recommend this figure if you want to complete your Stunicons. I think it's a very nice addition to the set, as well as him just being a standalone figure, but mainly, you want this guy for Menasaur, you want this guy for the Stunicons, go pick him up. I highly recommend it. And if you really don't want him, hey, you saved some money, so good on ya. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for this video review, so thanks for watch. Um, you know, this has been the Combiner Wars Transformers uh, Deluxe Class Dead End video review, and I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button if you like this video. If you want to see more of my awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, TFA1024, The Transformers Addict. And let me know what you thought about my video, or if you even just want to chat with me, talk to me down in the comment section down below. And remember, guys, until next time, stay addicted and TF Addicts for life. This is TFA1024, signing out. Yeah.